Hi, good morning, friends. In the previous class, uh, we solved uh, one question paper. Today, let's solve uh, some more questions which were asked in uh, the previous years. So, first question we have: uh, Construct a two by two matrix. Construct a two by two matrix. Two by two uh, matrix. Whose elements are given by? A i j is equal to i minus j by two. I minus j by two. So, can you write a concept? Matrix of order two by two. Whose elements are given by? A i j is equal to i minus j by two. Okay. So, we know first of all we have to construct the general matrix of order two by two. So, if you have two rows and two columns, so That is, y is equal to matrix k one one, y one two, y na, y two one, y two two, y two two. So this is the general matrix which has order two by two, two rows and two columns. Now we have to find the value of y one one, y one two, y two one, y two two. So okay, so therefore that is y one one. So we have the value a one one is equal to. So we have the notation that is i minus j. So it is this form a i j a i j i subscript and j also subscript. Okay. So a one one is equal to we have what the notation that is i minus j. We have one minus one one by one minus one divided by two. Again that is equal to zero. One minus one zero. Zero by two zero. Next we have k one two. Next element k one two. So what is i one? What is j two? Because it equals to one minus two by two. Again that is equals to one minus two gives what? Minus one minus one divided by one. Next next element we have k two one. It equals to what is the value of i here? So that is two. What is the value of j? One. So therefore, we have that is two minus one, two minus one divided by two. It is equals to two minus one, one by two. Again, next we have so that is a two two, a two two. Again, that is equals to what is the value of i here? Two. What is the value of j? Two. Again, by two. So what is two minus two? Zero. Zero by two is what? Zero. So now, therefore. A is equal to substituting a value of a one one, a one two, a two one, a two two. So that is what is a one one? So we have zero. What is a one two? We have minus one by two. What is a two one? We have one by two. And what is a two two? We have zero. So this is the matrix of order two by two. Whose elements are given by a i j is equal to i minus j. Just Substituting the value, substituting the value of i and value of j, so it is i zero and j column. Okay. Next, we have if a is the invertible matrix of order two, so a is the invertible matrix of order two, then find a inverse. To find determinant of a inverse, find the determinant of a inverse. If a is the Invertible matrix of order two. Then find the determinant of a inverse. So we have formula thirty. So determinant of a inverse is equal to one divided by determinant of a. One divided by determinant of a. Finish. So next we have find the area of a triangle whose vertices are minus two comma minus three. Three comma two and minus one comma minus eight. Minus one comma minus eight. Again, find the area of a triangle whose vertices are minus two comma minus three comma three comma two and minus one comma minus eight by using determinant. By using determinant. So we know how to find the area of a triangle. So we have a formula that is delta is equal to half half of determinant half. X one, Y one, one. X two, Y two, one. X three, Y three, 
one more. Okay, you should remember the should remember this formula. So based on this concept, will be harm one. So my question compulsory. So now substitute the values of x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Again, that is equals to one by two into determinant of x1, y1, x x2, y2, x3, y3. So that is uh, minus two, minus three. Again, uh, three. Two again uh, minus one minus eight sorry one 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 okay again the result for expansion so that is one by two of the expand to first row that is minus two into determinant of two leaving we now have to expand this we have to convert this into two by two determinant okay so that is uh, leaving this row and column we have two one minus uh, eight one again. Uh, so minus minus of minus three into determinant of leaving this column and row we have three one minus one one which again plus one into determinant of leaving this column and row we have three three two minus one minus eight minus eight okay again expansion that is equals to one by two half here. So minus two half two two into one two minus eight into one minus eight minus or minus plus eight okay na minus into minus plus plus three half three into one three again minus minus one into one minus one minus or minus again plus plus one okay again plus one half three into minus eight minus. Twenty-four again minus sir. So minus one into two. That is minus two minus or minus sir. plus two. Okay. So again simplification. That is equals to one by two half. So eight plus two. Ten. Ten into minus uh, two. That is minus uh, twenty minus uh, twenty again plus uh, three plus one four four into three. That is uh, twelve again. Uh, So here, minus twenty four plus two. We have minus twenty two. Minus twenty two into this. We have minus twenty two. Minus twenty two. Again, simplification is equals to one by two half. Here, we have twelve plus twelve minus twenty two. We have minus ten. Minus ten. We have here. Plus the twenty, that is minus thirty, minus thirty. Again simplification. So that is equal to minus thirty divided by two. We have that is equal to minus five. We know that uh, area can be negative. Therefore, that uh, is equal to five square units. Five square units. So this is the area of triangle. Next, the third question we have uh, using elementary transformation, find the inverse of matrix. A is equal to matrix one, three, two, seven. So we find the inverse of a matrix using elementary transformation. Using the elementary transformation. So we apply a sequence of row operations on this matrix so as to get an ID matrix. So we have found that that is A is equal to I into A. Again, that is the matrix. What is A here? One, three. To seven is equals to I into matrix that is one zero zero one again into yeah right it yeah, has this so apply sequence of operations so as to convert this to what of I into matrix and convert I into matrix into matrix okay so we are convert this into I into matrix so I into matrix we have this this will what of zero so multiply first row by two and subtract with the Row two, okay. So that is symbol in the written has. So that is R two gives rise to R two minus two times R one, two times R one. Again simple. Here again. So they will be asking one question for three marks from this concept only, ninety percent. Okay. So that is. So now for first simplification, that is write the first row has this. So that is one three. Here row two is replaced with what? Row two minus two times R one. So what is the root value here? That is two minus two 
into its corresponding R1. Its corresponding R1 we have 1. Therefore, 2 minus uh, 2 into 1, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. I have 0 here. Again, simplification of this. R2, what is R2? 7 minus 2 times its corresponding value. We have 3. Again, okay. So that is 7 minus 2 into 3. We have 6. Okay. So what is 7 minus 6? We have 1. Okay. 1. Apply the same transformation for this IT matrix. Write the row 1 as it is. 1, 0. So that is R2 minus 2 times its corresponding value. We have 1. So 0 minus 2. We have that is minus 2. Come to here. Again we have 1 minus 2 times its corresponding. We have a 0. So 1 minus 0 into 2. We have 0. 1 minus 0. It is 1. Okay. So write A as it is. Okay. So now this element is what? 0. Okay. So therefore, so now multiply 3 to this and subtract to this. Okay. So therefore, that is different. That can be similarly written as R1 gives rise to R1 minus 3 times R2. 3 times R2. Okay. So therefore, so what is R1 here? 1. So 1 minus 3 times its corresponding value. We have a 0. So 1 minus 3 into 0, 0. That is 1 minus 0 is what? 1 itself. Come to here. Okay. So we have R1 value. What is R1 value? 3. So that is 3 minus 3 times its corresponding value. We have 1. So that is 3 minus 3. We have 0 here. Write the root as it is 0, 1. Okay. Again, that is equals to apply the same transformation here. So here we have R1. What is R1? 1 minus 3 times its corresponding value. We have minus 2. 1. Here minus and minus becomes plus. So 3 into 2. We have 6. Okay. What is 6 plus 1? We have 7. That is 7. Next look, come to here. We have 0 minus 3 times its corresponding value. We have 1. So that is equal to 0 minus 3. That is equal to minus 3. Now write this as it is minus 2, 1. Okay. Into here. So now, so we know any matter A into B, we have a formula that is A into B is equal to I means what? Either A must be inverse of B or B must be inverse of A. Yeah. If the product of any two matrices is equal to I matrix, then A must be inverse of B or B must be inverse of A. Yeah. So therefore, so therefore A inverse is equal to matrix that is 7 minus 3 again minus 2. One. Okay. So next we have A is good matrix, B is good matrix, C is good matrix. You calculate AC, BC, also A plus B of C, and also verify that A plus B of C is equal to AC plus BC. So how do we have solved this question in the previous class? Okay. So try yourself at home. Just so find the product of A and C, B and C. Add AC and BC. Also find A plus B. Add in this two matrix and multiply with what the C matrix. Okay, compare the values. Okay, so the previous class we solve this question. Okay, so next we have solve the system of linear equations by matrix method x minus y plus 2z is equal to 7, 3x plus 4y minus 5z is equal to minus 5, 3x minus y plus z is equal to 12. So we have to find what the Values of x, y, z. For that we have found that this is a equals to a inverse into b. We have to find a inverse. So that is a inverse is a equals to 1 divided by determinant of a into a child d. Into what? A child d. To find, we have to find what the cofactors. We know how to find cofactors. First of all, we have to write what the coefficient matrix. We know how to write coefficient matrix. This coefficient matrix a is a equals to writing the coefficients of x, y, z from first equation. Second equation and third equation that is 1 minus 1, 2. Okay. Again, 3, 4, minus 5. Next, 2, minus 1, 3. So, variable matrix x is equal to variable matrix x, y, z. Again, constant matrix is it b is equal to constant matrix 7 minus 5, 12. Okay. 
So remember, here remember the equations must be in the order x y z column. Then bring the constant to order R H S. Then write the Cauchy matrix and variable well as well as constant matrix. Then so now we know how to find the cofactors. So to find the cofactors and solve it. So we have the value of x. X is equals to one. Y is equals to two. And z is equal to I think uh, three. Okay, solve it. Let's see. Okay, solve the Next, next question we have prove that uh, determinant of y plus y plus two that x y z y plus z plus two x y z x z plus x plus two uh, y z equal to two of x plus y plus z all cube. See ga uh, just remember here. So yawa rows only yawa rows are hard model. Hard. Yawa columns only yawa columns are hard model. You will get x plus y plus z. So check on. For example, row one plus row two plus row three will break. Remember that x plus y plus two z plus z plus z will have x plus y plus four z. Parallel. So column one plus column two plus column three. Put that to the x plus y plus two z plus x x plus x two x y plus y two y. So x plus two x plus two y plus two z. Parallel. So so that can be done as in one line. C one gives rise to C one plus C two plus C three. Okay, therefore again, that is equals to write it like this. Z equals to adding x plus x to x plus two y. Therefore, I can write it as two x plus two y plus two z. Similarly, z plus y plus z plus two x plus two y. That is equals to write the order two x plus two y plus two z. Again, z plus x plus z plus x plus y. That is. Two x plus two y plus two z to z. Okay, write the number as it is. So that is we have x y plus z plus two x again x again we have y y z plus x plus two y. Okay. So now bring this outside the determinant common factor. Okay. The result also again I will take the two common outside two half x plus y plus z. Into determinant of we have one one one. Here we have uh, x. We have that is y plus uh, z plus uh, uh, two x x. Again we have here uh, y y then uh, z plus uh, x plus uh, two y. Okay. So now try to make uh, this element as what uh, zero. So therefore uh, c two uh, c two gives us c two minus c one c three minus uh, c one. So let's write that is uh, C two gives rise to C two minus C one. Similarly, C three gives rise to C three minus uh, C one. Okay, sorry. Apply row transformation. Okay, apply what? Row. Okay. So that is uh, we have uh, R two gives rise to R two minus uh, R one. Again, uh, R three gives rise to R three minus uh, R one. Okay. So now that is equals to two half x plus y plus z in determinant half. Write the first one as it is. That is one x. Here we have y. So r two minus r one. R two minus r one. Therefore one minus one we have zero. This minus this. Okay. That means we have y plus z minus plus two x minus x. So again we have y plus z plus x right in the order. Then so we have x plus y plus z again. So this minus this y minus y we have zero. Next come to this row two row three minus row one. So this minus this one minus one again we have zero. X minus x we have zero. So this minus this okay that is z plus x plus Two y minus y. Here again, z plus x. What is two y minus y? We have y. Write the order for x plus y plus z. Okay. So now, if one side of the principal diagonal element, say, if all the elements are zero, then the product of principal diagonal element is the value of a determinant. Therefore, that is equal to two of x plus y plus z. Into 
1 into the same x plus y plus z into x plus y plus z x plus y plus z whole square again that is g equals to half x plus y plus z into x plus y plus z whole square we have x plus y plus z whole cube that is equals to rhs very simple determinants for that see that yava rows only yava yava rows and odd mark for that yava columns only yava yava columns and odd mark for that you will get that this term okay then proceed you will get a value thank you